Hey ninjas, how's it going? Are you keeping well? Welcome Blake. Welcome Chazza Kanaza. Welcome Crazy Kid. Welcome William. Who else do we have in at the moment? I think those are the main ones. Oh, I think AD is here. How is everyone? Hope you guys are keeping well. Oh, here we go. Banshee has come to welcome you all to the stream. Hey Richard, how's it going? Oh, I don't need to get rid of the welcome message just yet, Blake. I'll keep that up just for the first five minutes while I wait for a few more people to arrive, because we always have a, a few people arrive kind of maybe five minutes in, which is fine. Just want to give everyone a chance to get in. Okay. So, I'll give the usual spiel for everyone. Oh, am I blurry? It might be the cat. Am I still blurry? Oh, am I, am I laggy as well? Hmm, hopefully that sorts itself out. Um, the camera auto focuses, so Banshee here, probably stepping in front of the camera, freaked out its autofocus. You're doing it again, Banshee. You're trying to steal my limelight. All right, down we go. Okay, so um, I'll give the usual spiel. Um, so if you can, if you haven't done one of these before, if you can, try and have two screens. So there's one screen with me on it, so whether that's a phone or a TV, or if you have two screens on your computer at home, you can put me on one of those screens. And then that way, you can be doing the project along with me on the other screen. That's wor how it works best. Um, if not, then you can just have multiple tabs, like, you know, up here, and just switch between them. But if possible, I think two screens is a bit easier. Um, use the online version of Scratch, if possible, um, at the end of the session. Um, we, what I'll be able to do is I'll be able to go onto the online version of Scratch and see your projects, and if anything is not working, I can see exactly what's wrong and help you fix it. I will try and stop throughout the session to give you a bit of help um, if, uh, if you run into some problems or some things not working, but in general, um, unless we can figure out pretty quickly what's wrong, you just got to keep going with me, and then at the end, we'll be able to go and see what went wrong. Um, okay, uh, so with the chat, just make sure that um, everyone um, uh, keeps the chat clean, uh, so yeah, no swearing or anything, and also no talking about um, COVID-19, because that's everywhere else. Let's have a bit of a break from that, because that's all anyone else is talking about right now. We can have our little coding time here and think about that, think about positive things. Um, um, the other thing as well, if you spam, and spamming is when you type the same thing into chat over and over and over and over again, so like one emoji and just spam it over and over and over and over again, I will time you out for 30 seconds. Because if you fill up the chat with just something, it's annoying <laughs> because then we can't read the chat and I can't see what people are asking me and that kind of thing. Um, and if you keep spamming, um, then I might remove you from chat. <laughs> so bear that in mind. Um, all right, so if you're doing this for the first time, then what you need to do to get to Scratch is, uh, actually, before that, I'm gonna show you my platformer. So while we're just waiting for a few more people to arrive, we've got my little fox here. And if we touch the red areas, we die, and it resets us back. You can see in the top left corner, we've got a level counter. Uh, so this is stuff we're all gonna get to today. And you'll notice that I can't go 
I, I both land on the green platforms and also I can't go through them. I can't walk through them. And there we go. So yeah, I can't go through this wall. It's blocking my entry. Uh, so this is going to teach us a little bit about collision. Um, and we're also going to use a level variable to keep track of where our platform should be. Now, oh, here we go. Here's the, here's the hard level. Yeah. And you might notice a few things. So you'll notice that my character is not exactly, um, it, the, we're not using the collision on the fox sprite. We're actually using the collision on something else. We're gonna, and this is going to be, this is gonna teach you a little bit about what are called hit boxes, which are important in um, collision. Um, and the other thing as well is that we can, so a lot of people you do this platformer using color detection. We're going to use sprite detection. Um, I've got my ending boss here. Oh, oh no! Come on! Come on! No! No! Come on! Uh oh! Come on! Uh oh! Hey! There we go. Easy, easy peasy. Um, so we might not get to do the boss on today's session, um, but probably week after next, that's when we're going to start doing um, part twos of some of the uh, projects we've already worked on so we can do like more complex um, um, uh, uh, we can build on some of the projects we've already done. Hey, the cool guy, how's it going? So I can see that you're spamming in chat. Um, if you keep doing that, um, I'm going to time you out. Um, and that means you won't be able to post in chat for 30 seconds. And then if you spam again, I will time you out again. And if you keep spamming, then I will remove you from the chat, all right? Uh, I hope you're here to enjoy do doing some coding. Um, all right, I think we've got everyone here. Um, so yeah, you can call me, you can just call me John in chat if, if you like, that's fine. Um, I'm, I'm easy going. Um, if you, if, if you want to like shorten my name in chat, just so it's easier for you guys to type, that's fine. Uh, Blake, yes, we can probably check out your maze game at the end of the, uh, at the end of the session. Um, I'd like to check out some ninjas games, um, towards the end. Uh, all right. Okay, so I think it's time to start coding. Is everyone ready to make some Mario? All right, so to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Scratch. If you've never done this before, then what you do is just go to Google, type in Scratch, as in you were scratched by a cat, something like that. And the first option, Scratch Imagine Program Share, that's the one that we want. Let's go to this. Yes, I have two cats. I have a black cat and a, uh, oh God, tortoiseshell cat, I think is the term, or calico. Um, she was, uh, she's Banshee, she's in the, um, she was here at the beginning. Uh, Jin is the name of the uh, black cat. Um, so you'll probably see them later on in the stream. They usually come, they like to come and hang out while, while I'm streaming. Okay. So, once we're in Scratch, we're in the Scratch website, what we need to do is we need to go to Create. If you don't have a Scratch account, um, uh, then try and set one up. Maybe um, if, yeah, maybe talk with your parents if you're, if you're a bit young for that, um, and maybe they can help you with that, okay? All right. Okay, so we've got our, we've got our, our um, we've got our starting pro, project here. Um, also, actually, one thing as well, just quickly, you might notice I have some glowing lights in the background that change color. Those are actually, those are actually, um, those are actually my wife's. We got them for the house just because we liked them. Uh, someone was saying uh, last session, oh, you've got streamer lights. I'm like, ah, <laughs> I suppose they kind of are. 
It's like, that's a thing that YouTubers and streamers do. They have glowing lights on in the background. We have them just because we like them and this is our living room. All right, uh, so. Um, no, thankfully, thankfully the cats don't break stuff, uh, to answer your question. The cats don't break stuff too often. All right, so uh, what we first need to do is we first need to create our player. Now, you might think that the player that we're going to make is going to be a sprite, for example, like this scratch cat or the fox. But no, we're going to do things a bit differently. We're going to start off with a block, just a, just a normal square. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to come down here to where we've got our scratch cat, if we've still got it, and we need to delete it. It's a little X over a trash can. Just press that in the top right corner of what says Sprite 1, and it should go away. Now we're going to paint a new sprite. So we come down to the bottom right corner, hover over something that says choose a sprite. There's this little cat face here. And then we go up to where it says paint. So you should now have this painting screen up here. Oh, oh, thank you. All right, the welcome message. OK, thank you, thank you. Can get rid of the, me the the welcome message. All right, um, I'm gonna 100% forget to remove the welcome message. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> All right, so um, now what we need to do is we need to make a rectangle. It doesn't actually matter what color it is. You can change the color if you want. I'm just gonna leave it on the default, which I think is this nice purple here. So we need to click on where it says rectangle, just here in the sort of middle left. And we're gonna make a fairly small rectangle. We don't need it to be very big. And then once you've made this rectangle, you should be able to click on it and drag it around. Now what I want you to do is make sure that this is fully in the middle. So when you're dragging it around, can you see there's like a crosshairs in the middle, both of the, the drawing part of the screen and also there's like a little cross in the middle of your purple triangle. And you can see that you can actually get these to perfectly line up. That's what we want to do. We want to make sure that they perfectly line up. They should sort of snap into place, let go. And now, this is nice and in the middle, uh, which is what we want um, because, yeah, we need it to be perfectly symmetrical, perfectly in the middle. Okay. All right. I'll just hold, I'll just, um, I'll just hold off a little bit. Someone's just arrived in the chat. Um, uh, so just get up to where we're at. Someone's trying to switch to their mum's PC. So just I'll, just I'll just hold off for a second. All we need to do to start off with is, oh, Charles. OK, oh, Charles, you'll be fine catching up. You'll be fine. All we need is a little square, and we need this square to be right in the middle. Um, I mean, you need it to be little. I said little for a reason, okay? Okay, so your square as well, you can make it, I've got mine kind of like this shape because I'm going to put a little fox in it. If you want, your square could be a very different shape. You could have a square that was shaped like this. If you wanted a very tall square, uh, that's too big. Um, you could have a square that's just very even. It doesn't, it doesn't matter too much. Um, we can change the square later anyway. So what we need to do is we need to go to the middle right of section of Scratch, and we need to rename this sprite Player, okay? So just click on where it says Sprite 1 and type in player, OK? This is going to be our player for now. Um, what we need to do now is we need to give it some movement controls. So first thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that there's gravity working so that it's always falling down. Um, so we're going to use a forever loop for this. So what we need to do is we need to go across to the left side. 
um, and we need to go to events and we need to get a when green flag clicked and we need to then either look down and find the forever or go across to control and get forever and put it directly underneath. And we're gonna make our, um, we're gonna make our sprite fall at seven pixels. So, right in chat, how do we make a sprite go down by seven pixels? What line of code do we need? Am I blurry? Hopefully that's refocused it. Um, it might also just be the stream uh, strength of my internet going up and down a bit. So, I hope you've got your answers in for um, how to make a sprite go down by seven pixels, because the answer is in dark blue, the motion section up in the top left, change Y by minus seven. That's the way. All right, let's see if that works. Hit go. Yeah, good, they're falling. Always falling, good. So what we need to do now is we need to make a, a sprite that is the platforms that we can stand on. So let's go to the bottom right corner um, where it says uh, draw or paint a sprite. Remember, you hover over the cat face where it says choose a sprite and then you go up to paint a sprite. Now, this screen here is basically the sort of same size, all of that. It's the same size as your scratch screen, so bear that in mind. So I'm gonna change to a nice green color. There we go. We've still got a nice black outline. I'm just gonna draw something very simple. I reckon you should do the same thing, just make a rectangle. Just along the bottom of the screen. Now you'll notice we did it nice and at the bottom there, but it's slightly off here. That's because our uh, platforms sprite isn't directly in the middle of our scratch screen. Um, so let's change that. First, uh, let's go across to just where I'm hovering my mouse here, the middle um, right of the screen, where it's got X and Y values for where the sprite is. Let's change this to the middle. What's the X value and Y value for the middle? What numbers do we need to put in? Write your answers in chat. X equals something, Y equals something. What's the middle? Have you got your answers in? Because the answer is zero. X equals zero, Y equals zero. So just write those in to the X and Y value there. You might need to hit enter after you've written them in as well. And while we're here, we need to change the name of this sprite to be platforms. Okay, so what we need now is we need our player to check to see if they've landed on a platform. Okay, so uh, we've got change, X, change Y by minus seven. Uh-oh, no kitten, no. Why? Why must you interfere with my streams? Um, so what we need to do now is we need to create an if statement. So we go to events. We, or oh, rather control. So the orangey control section on the left. We need to get an if then. We put that directly underneath change y by minus seven. Um, 
Um, and then we need to ask the question, um, am I touching platforms? And how do we do that? We go to sensing, the light blue um, section on the left. And down you go. We grab touching what currently says mouse pointer, touching mouse pointer. We're going to change that, though, because we want to change. We want it to be touching platforms. And then uh, what we're going to do is if we are touching the platforms, we're going to reverse this gravity fall. So we need to go up um, by seven pixels. How are we going to go up by seven pixels? Write your answers in chat. Because the answer is change y by seven. Now you need these numbers to be exactly the same. If they're not exactly the same, like if we say change, if we fall at a speed of minus seven pixels, but we, um, if we're touching platforms, then we go back up by eight pixels, we'll be doing this kind of wiggly thing here. Which depending on the kind of thing you're doing, you might like, um, but let's just keep ours looking a little bit more stable like we've landed properly. All right, cool. So what we need to do now, um, what we need to do now, no, Charles, I'm going to do if touching, um, I'm not going to do touching by color. I'm not a fan of doing touching by color because you have to get the colors exactly right each time you do them. I'm going to do it by touching sprites. I much prefer that because then what you can do is you can have sprites that are like lots of different colors. And that works really well. It still works, still does collision correctly. All right, let's move things along. We need to add our uh, left and right movement. So we're going to do this very similarly to um, how we did um, our um, gravity. Uh, so again, so we're going to need we're going to need an if statement. So go across to control get an if, put it right underneath. You've got to make sure that this is lined up like in one nice straight line. It's not inside because this is another question we're asking. And the question is, are we touching right arrow? So to do that, we go to sensing. We grab another uh, key arrow pressed. That's it, that's what I meant to say. So we, so we can get a key space pressed, and then we change the space by clicking on this white triangle here. And I'm gonna say right arrow. And how do we make a character go right? I'm gonna say that we're gonna go right by seven pixels again. We can change this later if we want. Uh, so how do we go right by seven pixels? Write your answers in chat. The answer is change x by 7. So now we need to do the same thing that we did with um, the if touching platforms um, earlier for our gravity up here. So to save us from doing this um, all again, I'm just going to right click on this if next to the if touching platforms. OK, and I'm going to go duplicate. Now you'll end up with two things. Put them off to the side right now because and then pull them apart because there's two if statements and we only want one of them and then get this one if touching platforms and put it right underneath where it says change x because this is going to reverse our right movement if we end up ramming into a wall so that we can't go through it so what should we put here to reverse the right arrow if we end up touching a wall. And the answer is change x by minus 7. Now, it's super important you get these numbers the same. Otherwise, you might end up getting your characters stuck in walls. They'll get stuck into a wall that they can't leave. OK, so. 
what we're going to do now is we're going to put the exact same thing, but for left arrow. So see if you can put that together. We want the exact same thing, but for left arrow. So you could actually right click on this if next to the key right arrow pressed and copy that whole thing. And again, it needs to come right after the question of um, the key, if key right arrow, then it's gonna be a nice straight line, can't be stuck inside the other piece of code. And we need to change this. So it's left arrow, which means we need to take them first left by seven pixels, which is minus seven, change X by minus seven. Then if touching platforms, change X by seven. So let's test this, shall we? Uh, go into your platforms sprite. So there's the code. And you can use WASD instead of uh, right arrow, left arrow, that's fine. So bear in mind all the, the other thing I forget to mention all the time, there is a delay between um, me doing something on camera and you receiving it. Uh, so uh, uh, I think it's AD um, on Pretty Lamba's account. Uh, Pretty Lamba, um, or I think it's AD using the account, said, oh, can you show me the whole code? And I did that straight away, but it'll probably be a few seconds, probably be like 15 seconds, 20 seconds before you receive it, okay? So there you are, there's the whole code. So everyone just check your code to make sure it looks like this. And what I'll do as well is I'll share this. Share. And I'll post it in chat so you can uh, check it. And it should, you might need to refresh that page every so often as I make changes to it, but I think it should, it should take the changes that I make. So you've seen all the code there. Hopefully you've figured it, figured it out. Stop doing sequences. I actually don't know what that means, um, William. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to go to platforms. We're going to add in something that our character cannot, run, cannot walk past. So let's go across to costumes. So you need to be in platforms, go across to costumes, and then add in a little thing in the way. Okay. So let's start the game. So we can, we shouldn't be able to go past this. And it looks like you stop short of it, and you kind of do, but that's okay. There is ways of doing this in such a way so that you wouldn't stop short of it, but it would require a lot more code. I'm giving you a much simpler way, okay? Oh, right, I get you, William. When you said stop doing sequences, it's the emojis in order. Gotcha, no problems. All right. So we're ready to add some, now what, would a, what would a platformer game be without the ability to jump? So let's add that in now. All righty. Um, so actually, before we, before we jump, so crazy kid, have you looked at my code? Have you checked my code versus your code? Have you got the numbers right? Have you made sure that the if key right arrow pressed is in the right place? That the if key left arrow is in the right place? If you just say it's not working, you've got to tell me what it's not doing. Um, also, crazy kid, are you on Scratch, uh, the website? I might be able to look you up and see your code. Oh, Anna, um, are, you, are you on Scratch? Um, if you let me know what your, uh, anyone who's not work, who it's not working for, post your Scratch name into chat. Um, make sure that your project is shared, um, and then I will be able to find you. Um, unless you tell me what your Scratch name is, I have no idea how to find you, though. And 
unfortunately you can't put your own links into chat. It, YouTube won't let you, it only lets me put links into chat. So everyone who is having a problem, say my scratch name is this and um, uh, uh, yeah, and um, and I've published. Yeah, and, and then I'll look you up. Okay. All righty. So you're gonna let me know what your scratch names are, and I'll look up your project. Oh, that's it. Okay. So all you guys remember this in future. If you say it's not working, doesn't I can't do anything with that. You gotta say, I have published my scratch game. Um it's not working. I am inches one on on a scratch, and then I'll be able to look you up. All right, let's have a look-see. Let's see where, where we went wrong. Okay, so this is wrong because if key right arrow pressed, then change X by seven, we need this if to be inside. So let me demonstrate it. So the if touching platforms needs to come directly after the movement. It needs to happen, say, change x by seven, then if touching platforms, change x by minus seven. Because you, if you're touching it, because your character will never touch um, uh, the platforms. Um, it will always stay away from the platforms. And if it does touch the platforms, it has to reverse the action that it just did. So, you got, so it's got to look like this, okay? So the if touching platforms needs to be inside the if for the arrow movement, okay? All right, so I hope you got that inches. So if anyone, does anyone, so have, yeah, have a look at this code. This is what you need it to look like, okay? Um, now, Let's look up some other people. Uh, Catman Sim. Okay. You haven't published your game though, so I can't I can't look at it. Um because it's not here. I don't think. Let me actually let me double check. Oh yeah, run. It is here. Sorry, sorry. False alarm. Found it. Okay. See inside. W A platform. So W A well oh A and D. Well, there's one A and A by minus if key A is minus. One thing, everyone, just make sure you drag, if your player's stuck inside the platform, make sure you drag it up and let it fall to make sure that it's not stuck in the platform, okay? Key A pressed, change X by minus seven. Then if touching platform, change X by seven. This is interesting. Your D works fine now that I've dragged you up and out of the being stuck in the platform. Huh. 
How strange. Key pressed. Player. Platform. Wait a second. Platform. Okay, so change if touching platform. Hmm. Okay, okay, so this is very strange. Because this is exactly the same code that I've used. Am I missing anything here? If I try left arrow. Well, for one thing, left arrow is going. Oh, that's, that's, the, that's the, uh, the one that's working fine. If I change this to left arrow, how odd. This is very weird. I wonder why this is. Because mine's fine. If key left arrow pressed. How weird. Size is 100. Hmm. Oh. Okay, we all missed it. I missed it. See this? Seven minus? That's not how maths works. <laughs> Needs to be minus seven. There we go, minus seven. All right, I ah, stared at that for such a long time. All right, who's next? Um, jolly fun. Uh, we've just done Catman Sim. Uh, back to scratch. Has anyone else solved their problems? Okay. So has everyone else done the same thing that I asked them to do, which is drag your drag your sprite up like this? Oh, see inside. Drag your sprite up like this to make sure it's not stuck in the platforms. Yeah, yours is fine. So I hope everyone did this when I said, if your sprite is stuck in the platforms, drag it up and let it go. Everyone do that now. <laughs> All right, because that's fixed it. Drag your sprite up, let it drop, and now it's no longer stuck in the floor. Okay, so that one's, that one's sorted jolly fun. Now, who else? Um, I'll show the code again. Um, guys, anyone who wants to see my code, I have posted the link to my project. You just scroll up in the chat and you can click on it. You can see the code right there, okay? Um, I'll post it again. There's my code, okay? Okay, so Blake, uh, infamous. There you are. Help. All righty, let's have a look, see. It's fine, nothing wrong with it. Yeah, 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 it's, it's supposed to float, Blake, that's fine, don't worry. It'll stop short of the platforms, but that's okay. 
Sometimes when you drop it, it will fall a bit closer. That's fine. Um, if anyone wants to see the code, just click on the link. So Akash Deep Verma, click on that link that I posted you and you can see all the code, okay? All right, so I think that's everyone. Let me double check. Charles. Okay, Charles, and then we're done. We're, and then we're moving on, okay? Everyone who wants to see the code, I've given you the link. All right. So, Charles. Okay. I hope. Uh, okay, let's have a look inside. What's going on here? Something else? Oh, that's Crossy Road, sorry. Let's try this again. Alrighty. Do, have you got yours published, Charles? Yours is not published. It's not here, can't see it. So, all right, I'm moving on, guys. Because we've got to keep things going, otherwise we're going to run out of time. All right, so. Um, when, so this is all the code. I've posted the link in the, uh, in the, in the description so you can find it. Um, we need to add the jump. So to do that, what we need to do Um, all right, so in future, if you need help, make sure you post your code, make sure you listen to all the things that I, that I, that I like, uh, give you, tell you, I still don't see it, Charles. All right, sorry, got to got to move on, Charles. If you, if you, if you can't post it, got to move on. We'll have to fix them at the end, otherwise, because I, I yeah. All right, so we need to add the jump. So to do that, everyone with me? Everyone ready to do some coding? We need to grab a when space key pressed. Okay. So we need to be in the player sprite. We need to go to the code. You fix it yourself? All right. Good. All right, I'm in the wrong one now. Let's go to my stuff. Leave. Okie dokie, back to platformer. All right, so we click on our player sprite. That was a bit of a it was a bit of a long time I spent fixing everyone's code there for a second. So sorry about that, guys. Thanks for waiting. Um, it's always a bit difficult doing this over stream if like five different people say, "Oh, it's not working." So, oh well. Um, we need to get a so. We, so, but, I, but everyone back on track now, we're ready to do some more coding. We've only got 15 minutes left, so we're not gonna get quite as far as I would have, I would have liked. <laughs> but um, this is a good one. We can do uh, a part two of the platformer, probably not next week, uh, but week after. All right, so everyone ready? Let's get when space key pressed. Um, and what we need to do is we need to get a repeat 10. So go to control um, on the left side, grab a repeat 10. Uh, 
and we're going to get a motion and we're going to get a change y by, and I'm going to say 16. These are numbers you can change if you want. Um, and then we need to get another if. So we go to control, we grab an if, we do uh, sensing, if touching platforms, and then we need to reverse this change y. So to reverse it, we need it to be minus 16. Uh, so let's see, let's see if this works. Now one thing you'll notice is that we can jump on air. We can jump at any time. So let's see if we can jump through the bottom of platforms. So once you've got this code in, when space key pressed, repeat 10, change Y by 16. If touching platforms, then change Y by minus 16. Um, then we need to go across to our platforms sprite and make a roof. Or make a platform, I should say. Go to costumes. Now here's a little trick, okay? Um, if you want to make um, very similar, so it doesn't actually matter what color you're using, but if you want it to all be the same color, and I do, if you just select something here, it will automatically change your color to be the color of the thing that you selected. So if it's gone back to like some crazy purple or something, and you've got this selected here, the, uh, uh, the select part of the, 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 um, the, the drawing tools, you can select and it will turn green. So uh, let's draw a platform. When you're ready, and you can do a few different platforms if you want, and then let's test that. Now we're getting a bit of judderiness because it's bashing up against uh, the ceiling. So we can easily, we can fix that. Uh, the way that we can fix that is we need to create an exit from our loop. So to do that, we need to go across to events and, or rather control. There we are, classic. Always get events and control mixed up. And we're going to get a stop now, we've used stop all a lot for when we want games to finish, like in like a game over or the game is won, that kind of thing. What we're going to do this time, we're going to put this stop right underneath the change Y by minus 16. And we're not going to stop all. We're only going to stop this script. So this jump, even if it needs to repeat 10 times, the moment we touch a platform, it stops repeating it stops that script. Let's see if we still get that juddery thing if we press the space bar just once. No, that's looking a lot smoother now, isn't it? So when you create loops, um, it's important to have exits from loops, otherwise loops will, especially forever loops, in certain types of coding. And in Scratch, the way that you create an exit is by saying stop this script. Um, that won't work necessarily for things that are like forever loops, it will stop that forever loop, forever. Um, so yeah, that's a bit of a, a problem. Anyway, but this is this is nice now. We've got a nice our, our, our jumping is working. All right. So I hope you guys are all with me still. Um, so what we need to do is now um, we need to make it so that we can only jump. Um, when we are standing on a platform, okay? So we're gonna do this 
in two ways. First, we're going to actually no, we're going to do it in one way. Nice. We're going to do we're going to do this with a variable. Okay. So we're going to get uh, we're going to create a variable, and that's, and this variable is going to be called can jump. So if you question mark can jump question mark and it's going to be for all sprites so if you haven't made a variable bef variable before then you come across to the left side this orangey section here you click on variables you go up to make a variable here you type in the name of your variable make sure that for all sprites is selected and then you press ok that's how you do it all right so hopefully we've all got our can jump question mark variables sorted what we need to do now um, is we need to ask a question. So we get an if block. We go to events, we scroll down, we get an if then, and we're gonna take this and where the if then is, I'm gonna put that right in between when space key pressed and repeat. So it should wrap around the whole thing now. Um, so, and the question that we're gonna ask is, is can jump yes? So we're gonna use an operator for this. So come across to the left hand side, select operators, the green section on the left, uh, get a equals operator. So it'll be something equals 50. That's what, that's what it looks like. But we're going to change this. So we've got, we put this in. And we're going to go to variables. The dark um, orange section on the left. We're going to grab our can jump. We're going to put it in the first value. If can jump equals yes, then do this. And what we need to do now is, while we're still in variables, get a set can jump. And I'll put that right underneath the if, and we're gonna set can jump to no. So once we jump, we have said, can you jump now? No, because you're already jumping, you're in the air. So we need to figure out when do we set can jump back to yes? Where should we put that in our code? Right in chat, if, you, if, you, if you've got the answer. Hopefully you guys have got all this. I wonder. I might be able to get like a print screen tool to take little pictures of bits of code and post them in chat. That could work. I'll do that for next time. Okay. Yes, we're specifically gonna do it where our gravity happens. So our gravity is the first thing that happens in our forever loop. So we come across here to the bit where it says when green flag clicked. Um, yep. And the bit that does gravity is the bit that changes y. So what we need to do is we need to grab set can jump to yes. If, and that comes right underneath if touching platforms. So it's important where you put this. It needs to come in right above change y by seven, right? Yeah, Richard, I can, I can actually post more stuff in chat than other people. Other people can't do links in chat. I don't think other people can put pictures in chat just to prevent people from you know, putting inappropriate material. But I think I can put, um, as the person who's doing the stream, I think I can put stuff in chat. Okay. 
So we need to set can jump to yes, right before it says change y by seven. All right, let's see if that works. Um, so once you've got this code, head over into platforms and make some easier platforms. Uh, some platforms that you can jump onto. That's what I was I what I meant to say. I'm gonna make a little sort of staircase. Let's test this. Oh. Oh no! I've made a impossible bit of platforming. There we go. There we go, and you can't jump in the air anymore. Whoop, oh kitten. Down we go. Okay, so, um, there's one last thing we're going to do, and we're gonna make some extra levels, because we've only got five minutes left. Um, so first, let's put in the code, and then I'm going to let you guys make as many levels as you want in the last amount of time that we have, and then I'm gonna play some of your games. And then if anyone's experiencing any more problems, then um, you can, I can hunt you down in Scratch, and I can fix your, fix your issues with you, okay? So let's, let's create, uh, let's zoom out a little bit, just for now. All righty, you can't jump. Ah, there should be one more thing that we should do as well. And that we should um, set can jump to yes at the beginning of the game. Actually, so, so yeah, so at the beginning of the game, that is right underneath when green flag clicked, set can jump to yes. And also another thing that we should do is figure out where our player should start. So for now, I'm just gonna always start the player about here. That's where I wanna start the player. So, does everyone remember how coordinates work? How do we make the player go here? The x is uh, minus 215, the y is minus 121. You might choose different numbers to make them go to a different place. But what line do we need to make them start? Put your answers in chat. Because the answer is in motion. Dark blue section in the top left corner. And it is this, go to X and Y. And if your player is already in the right place, if you grab this piece of code, it'll put the numbers in already, which is really useful. Otherwise, you can type them in. All right, so now when you start the game, it should always start you in this corner, even if you sort of go over here and start the game again, it should start you in that corner. Um, We've got our jumping working. There's a few people who, I think um, a few people have had some problems. Someone can't jump, but I'll fix that in a moment. Let's do one last piece of code, and then we'll do some fun hanging out, and we'll, and we'll make some extra levels together. Uh, the, the code that we need to do um, is, let's see. We need to create another variable. And this variable will be our level variable. So, come with me across to the variables section on the left side of the screen. Click on make a variable. It needs to be for all sprites. And we will call it level. Now we need to make sure that we always start out on level one. So, right underneath where it says when green flag clicked. Let's set level to one. So when we start the game, we start on level one. All right, hope you're still with me. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're going to uh, 
we need to figure out a way for our character to proceed to the next level. I'm just going to give you the way that I've done it, which is getting from the left to the right. So at the very end of the code, we need to do a check to see if our player has gotten all the way to the right side of the screen. So some of you guys uh, might already know roughly what we need to do to do this. We need to ask a question. How do we ask a question? Write the answer in chat. What piece of code do we need? And the answer is if then. That's in control, the orangey section on the left, the orangey category. We need an if then statement. We're going to put this right at the bottom of the forever loop. So it needs to be off by itself, not inside any of the other if statements. It just needs to be in the very bottom bit of our forever loop. And then we need to ask the question. The question is, has our character reached the right side of the screen? So if you already know how what we're going to put in here, write it into chat now. And because uh, you'll notice a lot of the um, code that we use is the same each time, right? So you can start picking up little bits from the various lessons that we're doing and go, oh, this is, this is how this works, and this is how I can figure out how this works. So we need to, to go to motion. Uh, we need to get a X position. We need to go to operators, the green category. And we need, an, and we need a more than statement. We need a more than. We've put the more than inside the if then. We ask if X position is more than, and I'm going to say 239. Because if you guys remember your coordinates, it's about 240 pixels from the middle to the right. And we need to know if you cross all the way to like that 240th pixel on the right. And then what we need to do is we need to make a broadcast. All right, are we getting some stream lag? That's all right. You can see the code here. And I'm going to fix it for you in a few minutes anyway, so don't stress. So we need if x position more than 239. Um, we're going to make a broadcast. And the broadcast, we're going to call this message restart. And before the broadcast, we need to change level by one. Let's try this as a test. I'm going to try, I'm going to leave it up on the screen while the lag hopefully sorts itself out. And in the meantime, I'm going to try posting a picture into chat and see if it works. All right, moment of truth, everyone. No, I can't put a picture in chat. That's unfortunate. OK, well, hopefully you can just see it on the screen. If x position more than 
239, then change level by one, and broadcast restart. Okay, so what we're gonna do to do the last thing that we need to do, and then we're all done and I'll fix your projects if you're having problems, is, oh, well, actually one quick thing we need to do here is we need inside the player, we need to go to events, get when I receive uh, a broadcast, and we need to, so it'll say when I receive message one maybe, but we wanna change that to when I receive restart. And we need to make sure our player goes to where they're meant to start. So put another go to in, just the same as we have at the beginning there. All right, and then if you're still with me, what you need to do is in platforms, we need a, when I, so come across the platforms, go to the code, go to events, and I need, and we need, when I receive, restart. And we'll go across to looks. And we'll grab switch costume to. And we'll put inside there a variable. So when I receive, restart switch costume to, and then we get the variable, level. So, and then all you need to do is in platforms, you, need, you can create more costumes the same way we did the other ones. So you can paint them from fresh or, um, so this is much easier. So if you go to platforms, go to costumes, right click, duplicate, and then you can like, uh, mess around with these platforms, make them different. And you can do this however you like. You can kind of do this once we're finished here and make all sorts of levels. And then here's the important thing. You need to make sure that your costumes are all named the level that they are, so just one number. So do you know how to rename costumes? Just in the top left corner over here where it says costume. So one to you can do all sorts of stuff and you can you can make your levels however you like uh -huh. so There's one more thing we need to do in the platform sprite. So if you're halfway through sort making levels, just hold off for a second and come with me across to code for platforms. Go across to events, the yellow category, grab when green flag clicked and then set the costume to the level that you want it to start off as. So switch costume to one to make sure that when you start your game, it always starts in level one. Okay. So that's probably what we have time for today. Um, so we didn't get to the lava. We didn't get to the, some of the pretty stuff, but if you want, you can do things like, uh, we can add a backdrop in. Um, I quite like, uh, uh, was it mountains? No. Oh, actually, why not? I'll do this one. Sure. 
looks interesting. And we haven't gotten through to giving our character um, a, a skin yet, but we should have, and as some of you guys, I know it might not be working and I'm gonna help you guys out now. We should have some working platform mechanics and some working level mechanics. And one thing you'll notice is that if you go above the number of levels you've made, it just sort of cycles round. Okay, um, so who's having problems? Uh, crazy kid. Anyone else? Is any, does anyone have any code not working so far? And everyone whose code is working, publish your game. Once it is, sh oh, sorry, uh, share your game. Once it is shared, um, put um, your, uh, your scratch name into chat and say, my game is ready and I will play it. We ran a bit over time. If you're, remember what I said, if your game is not working, Yep, sure, no problems. We'll see you next time. Um, so if you're, if you're, if you're, um, if your coding is not working, then put your scratch name into chat and say, my code is not working. Can you please help? Okay. Uh, so, aha, inches one is ready. Okay, so Catman Sim. So your starting position is getting it stuck in the platform, maybe? No. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe it's fine, actually. Let's start it again. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, this is cool. It's all working. Nice. The one thing you need to do is you need to, um, so inches, uh, you need to put in set level to one directly underneath when green flag clicked in the player code, okay? So do that, do that for me now. Set level to one. Uh, it's in variables, okay? That way when someone starts a new game, it starts them off properly on level one. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, it's working nicely. Alrighty. Fantastic. Jolly fun. Very nice. Yes, excellent. Wonderful. Very nice, very nice. Level resets perfectly back to one. Great. Okay. Uh, zero nine infamous. Ooh, this is looking this is looking challenging. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Let's 
Taking a little while to load. Nice. Oh, it's a tight fit. It's a tight fit. Oh, this is good. Oh, no. Okay. Yes. Ah, oh, yeah. Cool, cool. Very good. Excellent. Does the level reset? Good. Perfect. Alrighty. Uh, so, Anna, Daniel, um, or whoever's using the account, is it in, in her? Is that your Scratch account? I can't find, I can't find that Scratch username. Try typing a username again for me. Uh, Charles. My little platformer. Love it. Alrighty. Nice. Cool. Yes. interesting. See if it does it again. I wonder. Ah, yes. Nice. Very good, Charles. I like it. Very good. Okay, so... Um, Anna, um, what's, the, what's the username there? Oh, inches. Inches is ready. Oh, it must have been autocorrect. Inches um, went to inches. Oh, yeah. I'm really sorry, by the way. I'm terrible with remembering whose usernames are who and such. So I, all, I know you. I've met most of you guys before. All of you, in fact, I'm pretty sure. Um, unless I'm getting confused. Um, but because I don't see your like names, I get confused. So I, I need you guys to remember... Uh, give me, yeah, 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 give me reminders for that kind of thing. All right, let's go to inches. Uh, let's go here. Here you are. The jumping game. No jumping. Oh. Oh. Is this the right one? Uh, you're missing some stuff. Have a look at have a look at my code. Um, yeah, remember how I said you had to get these inside each other? Am I looking at the wrong one? Inches. You love elevator. Yeah. You're missing you're, you're you're missing some stuff. You didn't get a lot of the stuff in. Um try so 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 inches. Try because we're probably gonna do a part two on this. Um try to watch the YouTube video again and fast forward to the bits that you haven't done and just or or have a look at my project and uh see if you can build off of that. Um, because if you have like, like elevator controls, it's going to make certain things not work. Um, when we do like part two of this, um, so yeah. And there's, yeah, there's like certain things. So there's a few things that aren't working. Like for example, um, you go through, like you land on top of it. Okay. But when you go to the side, you just go through it like that. And that's because... You need these ifs. The if touching platforms need to be 
inside the if with the key left arrow and the key right arrow, okay? So try and get them to go that like this. All right. Okay. Um, maze game. Blake's maze game. Let's do that. Now, was there someone... Was there someone else who also... I'm just making sure I haven't missed anyone. Um, all righty. And then that will be us for today. All righty. So let's go to profile. Infamous maze. All righty, cool. Let's see this. Oh, whoop, whoop. Let's, uh, yeah, cool. Oh no, oh no, oh no, am I stuck? Have I died? I, I ran out of lives. All right, let's try it one more time, one more time. Three lives, three lives. Okay, okay. I've gotta not let the timer get to me too much. Otherwise I'll be get careless and die. This is cool, Blake, very nice. Gotta be careful once I touch that green. How many levels are there? Oh, come on. Oh, no. cycling around and they're cycling around could be wrong backdrops oh no there's tons tons that is awesome Blake well done this is a this is a pretty legit way to do it um, but um, yeah we're doing it with sprites and you can do cool things then you see because then you can have things like enemies be part of um, sprites you can have you can change the art of things. They don't always have to be one color. Um, yeah, and you can do some pretty cool stuff if you want to make like sort of a Mario game. Alrighty. Um, thank you everyone for coming. Um, we'll quickly do. We'll quickly do the woof game. If you ever have a request, like, um, my game is not working, can you look at it and fix it? Or can you play my game? Just put your scratch name uh, in there too so I can find you faster. Otherwise, I have to figure out who's who. And now, you wanted me to do your woof game. Woof. I've got sound off on my phone, on my computer, so I wonder if there's sound. This is cool. This is a really nice animation. Yeah, there's barking. All right, I'll turn, this, I'll turn the sound back on just briefly. Nice and quiet, though. Oh, no. The sound, the sound settings, they're, they're, they're set up for streaming, so it's not going to work. This is very cool. This is really lifelike, this animation. And I like the way it's, can you, you can see how many random numbers have been used here to give this a really sort of, you know, uh, like if it was just repeating the same things 
over and over and over and over again, it would be obvious. We would see if it was just going in the same circles. But you can see how many different random numbers they've used and random positions. It looks really, really legit. It looks like, you know, this dog's floating through space. Very nice. Um, this kind of thing, using random numbers, gives your games a, very, a much more realistic feel. If um, certain things happen in the same patterns, players begin to notice. How goes your, how goes your, oh, did you beat Charles's taco click game, Will? Well done, well done. All right. So, that is, we went a little bit over time this week. Got to try and keep them a bit shorter than this normally. Uh, so, we, we're going we're gonna to wrap up now. So, um, you can see the Futures Lab studio if you do a search for um, Futures Lab Coda Dojo. This is our studio. Uh, if you want to follow it, I can add you as a curator. Uh, activity. I wonder if it, where the curators are. And I think I can invite some more curators. We've got Inches, we've got Infamous, Got Yoel Cake, we've got Cool Trish, got Sonic Fries, Darpy Darp, Charles. All right, cool. So yeah, if you want to follow, and you can and you can find my Scratch account. Probably the easiest way is if you find my Scratch account and follow me. It's easier for me to find you then, um, and I will follow you back. Um, let's have a look, see actually if I've got any new ones. Nope, that's fine, I'm all up to date. And then I can add you to the Futures Lab Coda Dojo uh, uh, studio. Um, so next week, this is important. We, it, next week is Easter break, Monday, right? So I'm gonna take the day off. I'm not going to stream on that day. Um, so um, there won't be a Coda Dojo on Monday. But we'll be back on Tuesday as normal, and we'll be back on Thursday. So Tuesday, we're going to do an Easter hunt game, Easter egg hunt game. And on Thursday, we're going to do a racing game. Um, and then the week after that, that's when I'm going to start to, I, I might do platformer part two. Um, because we've got a lot more, a lot more th than we can, that we can get to with this platformer. Um, there, you know, we can, we can add a bunch more, um, to how this platformer works. Um, so I hope you guys have had fun. I hope you have learned some stuff. Feel free to go back and watch all the previous videos to learn how to make some other games as well. Um, if you are in the studio, uh, again, try to to make sure that like the, stu the projects you're posting to the studio are all appropriate. Uh, don't post anything if it's like super negative. Don't post anything if it's about coronavirus. Don't post anything if it's like mean or if it's got swearing in or anything like that. Keep it all super appropriate. Um, so you can see there's a lot more that we can learn about. And then if you want to, add a bunch more levels to your platformer game. Uh, see if you can uh, figure out how I've done some of this stuff. Uh, see if you can add in something like this section, this boss battle that I have. Oh, no. Um, but um, until then, everyone stay awesome. Uh, be cool to each other. Take care of yourselves. And uh, I'll see you guys next stream, Ninjas, on Tuesday.